Well, this is Steve-O, you're watching the live addiction with uh, TheBuzz.com. I'm backstage at Mayhem Festival 2014 with Levi Bitt of Miss May I. You guys are currently on the road for your newest record, Rise of the Lion. Um, I'm representing Pantera, as you can oh, yeah. see. What was it like working with legendary producer Terry Date? Oh, man. We, at, anytime there's downtime, we just bug them about Pantera stories. So. Did you really? Yeah, that's all we always ask. Did but, you uh, get some gold? Oh! Uh, yeah, a lot of them uh, we've heard from DVDs and stuff. They are crazy, by the way. Oh like, yeah. The, the coolest one was um, on Hostile. He like uh, at the end when you hear like the mic feedback. Right. He threw it. I guess he threw it into like a trash can full of, like chicken wings and barbecue sauce, and he like ruined the mic because he threw it in barbecue sauce. It was covered in barbecue sauce, and, and that was ruined. like the last take. Right on. Because they ruined the mic. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I got to interview him back in January, and I showed him my Pantera tattoo, and <laughs> Phil and I had like a one-on-one -on -one moment, like off the camera. It was. Yeah, it was like, oh my god, this is my life. This is happening. Um, so, I was talking about your hair. You're the one dude that I have serious hair in before. I mean, I, I, I take pride in my mane, but I gotta ask, so what do you do to maintain the locks while you're on tour? Nothing. Nothing? Just go. Just go. I mean, do you brush it? What do you, what do you no, put in? No, I don't, uh, nothing. I just wake up and it's, I, I make sure there's no tangles in it, but that's about it. Okay, I I used to use like the expensive crap, but then I met um, Claudio from Kohi, and he was like, dude, I just use the cheap Pantene Pro-V, and yeah, I was like, but, good enough for you, good enough for me. Yeah, I use head and shoulders, and that's what I have to use now, because I have like horrible dandruff. Oh, dude, you know? the longer the hair, I feel like the worse the dandruff is. Interrupt the interview. <laughs> it's the dude from corn over there. Monkey, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, only at Mayhem Festival. Uh, so, for the cover of your new album, I want to ask you about, you had a fan that got your logo tattooed on their back, yeah, yeah. and it's massive, I might add. Uh, what was that process like, finding that fan, and how did that make you feel? Like, I got a fan out of this willing to get our logo across his, uh, the majority of his back. Well, when we sent out the thing, we said it was going to be for a tattoo, and we didn't think a lot of people were going to want to do it, because it was such a big commitment. We had like thousands of entries, and uh, we went through them, and basically tried to pick like, the, like the location and like most of the local guy because we did it in California where we did all these videos. So uh, we picked Parker, like he uh, he looked, he was like the biggest dude, so yeah. he looks more metal. And uh, it was cool because we actually took him to a really nice tattoo place and uh, we got to hang out with him the whole time. He hated his life though because he was just getting his back. Oh yeah. Day. And we're like trying to like cheer him up and have a good time, but uh, it was awesome. Uh, yeah, we're just honored to do that. And then the cover came out great. Where did you, uh, where did the tattoo get done? Uh, London Reese did it, I think it's around Hollywood. Okay, right on. We're from Ohio. We flew it and like they found somebody awesome. I was reading when I was doing research for it, I looked and I saw some like, I'm like metalsucks.net and they're like, why would a fan do this? You're so stupid. And if someone that's heavily tattooed, like, I've got band tattoos, I would be honored to like do something yeah. like that. And nonetheless, he was in one of your videos. Oh, yeah. He's, he was on, and the cool, well, that, that tattoo is really common. That's another reason why I'm really looking to push it. Yeah. If you lift up the CD on the new artwork, it's like, 50 or 60 just behind tattoos on people. I guess it's the colossal. Right on. Well, I told her, I was like, the one shirt I want to get is I got to get the lion on the front. So I picked it up earlier because oh, it's like, you know, kind of looks like me a little bit. Maybe that's, is that conceited? I don't know. No, no, it's all good. I don't care. I get the lion main thing all the time. Um, one more tattoo question. You got like a funny story behind one of yours, like a bro tat or something like that? Oh, uh, we have a bunch of bro tats. Um, my, my left leg is all bro tats. So then, right I'll show you the, show us right now. I'll show you the newest one. Okay. If we have time. Hold on. I think I can show you. Oh, a little bit. Okay, so this is actually a funny story, too. Okay, so it's a little uh, wasabi guy. Okay. And it says, okay, so it says Prime Saki, 2014. Uh -huh. So here's the story behind it. It's really well done, too. Oh, yeah, I know. It, it's done like 20 minutes. It's crazy. Um, we got done in Japan. We just did our first Japan tour. Okay, so our tour manager is, he's Japanese. This is the story behind it. The letters say Prime Saki, which doesn't really exist. Because, uh, we were at we were at this bar and it was all you could drink. We we're trying all these sake flavors. And he's like, so he's Japanese. So he's like, hey, he has a, like super thick Japanese English accent. Yeah. So he's like, hey, try this prime sake. And I'm like, oh, this is great. It's really sweet. And I was slamming it. And I was telling everybody, I'm like, everybody, gotta try this prime sake. Try prime sake. And then one of the guys came up. He's like, dude, you're being really rude. He's saying plum the whole time. Uh, and because of his accent, it was like prime sake. And I was like, yeah, it is prime. It's like uh, the best one. So, so it's like all, a little racist almost kind of. Yeah. I didn't mean like, to be. Yeah. And, I, and so we all got the tattoo, and it was like the joke for the whole tour. So we're like, dude, the show was prime tonight, man. It was so great. Right on. Well, final question I want to ask you. Uh, what band on this bill have you 
been like, oh my god, these guys are amazing that you're getting to share the festival with? Uh, well, the easy ones are Vince and Corn, obviously. Uh, I'm Mushroom Man. I got my death bad here, so. Oh, it's so good. I, I, was, I was never really a huge fan until I saw him live. Yeah. So, that's what I told the uh, camera girl here. I was like, once you see him live, you'll change your mind. That's what, me and my wife. My wife came out on the tour, and she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, just watching. And after she watched, she's like, she's like sitting there with a nod her head. I'm like, yeah. see, you like it. It's awesome. Right on. Uh, but then, um, Mushroom Head and Cam, of course. I love those guys. That's another one. Right on. Well, thanks so much. If you haven't yet, uh, Rise of the Lion, Miss May I, check it out. Thanks a lot, Levi.